Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Great run last time. We're gonna random Judas, so the potential for a great run is there this time. But as is the potential for this to be, you know, the worst run of all time. You know, we could potentially actually die before this run even gets off the ground, but I expect... You know, with two bosses, if we get an HP upgrade on the first one, we should be alright. We'll see what we get in our item rooms, provided, of course, that we get enough uh, keys to open more than just one of them. I do have one key right now that I picked up randomly. Of course, Judas only starts with three cents, so uh, that was something that we have picked up at some point on this level. Basement XL, usually not so bad. Usually uh, pretty quick floors, despite the fact that they are double-sized. Uh, if we get a bomb there was a tinted rock on the last room that I'm gonna try to remember I guess I can remember it because it's demarcated on my map by that uh, like penny icon but hey half hard there I'm firing my laser um, certainly does not beat Book of Belial but what it does mean uh, is that I can at least use this for a couple rooms like so uh, just to speed things up a little bit that was probably totally unnecessary it may actually like for certain rooms I think uh, laser might be better than Book of Belial because, you know, if you end up in a situation where uh, you have like a lot of enemies on a room, it's probably faster and quicker to just um, laser the shit out of them. However, we have two tinted rocks, by the way. I would love to pick up a bomb at some point. Uh, but Book of Belial is much better overall uh, as like a sustained damage dealer for bosses, and it's something that scales much better into the late game as well. Because there might be enemies that you come across in the late game that, I don't know, maybe do not die with one laser hit. It might be... I don't know, I've never actually tested it myself, because usually I don't hold on to that item for all that long. But we've got to be coming up fairly close to the boss room soon. Worst case scenario, we don't get another key, and then I'm just going to really hope that we pick up the crate from one of the bosses, but that is pretty unlikely as well. Probably much more likely to just get a key drop. Uh, but I find it a little harrowing, because we're getting up here to, you know, the final rooms for this floor. And still no keys. Bird foot. Uh, I don't know what this does. I think it might give us the dead bird if we get hit, but I can't remember. I don't like any Eve items. I want no Eve items except poor Babylon at all times. And of course with Judas, if we get HP upgrades, we could potentially get make a Hora Babylon run work. But of course we'd actually need to see that item as opposed to just prognosticating or, you know, theory crafting basically. So we can't go to our... Yep, now we can go to our item room, which is fantastic. So we've survived the onslaught of the first floor. We get all stats up. That's not all stats up. That's damage up. The halo's all stats up. But extra damage does not hurt either. So we have bloody tears. Uh, they're firing quickly enough. Doing a lot of damage. I say we start... Uh, well, we might as well go to one more room down here before we really start our uh, boss onslaught. And we'll figure out whether that first boss is going to be one that we want to use our Book of Belial on. Or if we want to save it for our second boss. I could probably have done both if I found the boss room soon enough, but, you know, that's neither here nor there anymore, so we're just gonna have to make do with what we've got. On the bright side, we're already dealing incredible damage, so it's not a huge deal either way. So we do have a bomb now, which we can finally use to access that uh, tinted rock that was back there. No way to go to the shop, which is unfortunate because I do have some money. Well, now we've got enough to actually access both of the tinted rocks in this level, so let's just knock that out of the way before we go to our actual boss fight. And we should have some more spirit hearts, so we'll be a little bit more survivable, you never know. As Judas, like, things can go wrong very, very quickly. Having the spirit heart is a good start. Uh, having the, the extra damage also helps out, but every extra spirit heart counts. Maybe we'll get the rock as well, get a little extra damage on top of this. So we're at 13 cents, and now three spirit hearts, and there was a tinted rock back here. So we'll pop that open, see what we get. More keys would be awesome too. We get two spirit hearts out of that, and with my last bomb, I'm actually going to open up this key over here and take this with us so that we know guaranteed we can go to an item room on the next floor and at least have a chance to get something more. So, I think this floor has gone incredibly well for us so far. What did we pick up? Well, we didn't pick up on Fire My Laser, but we did get damage upgrade on top of that five spirit arts, which is pretty crazy. And we'll see what we get from these bosses as well. So it has the potential. I'm thinking the most likely scenario is probably you're looking at HP up um, one cube of meat. And that would make for a pretty solid first floor here. I mean, technically, first two floors, I guess. But still, you know what I'm getting at here. So I think it's going to be Steven first. So actually, my prediction has completely been false. Or falsified, maybe, is a better way to put it. But I'm going to save my Book of Belial for the next fight, because this should be a fairly easy one. This might actually... I mean, Steven is one of the more survivable bosses from the first floor, probably. But... 
if we save it, then that just gives us the added benefit of being able to use it next time. So we'll get Little Steven or the damage upgrade Steven here. We get Little Steven, that's fine by me. Nice familiar that does some reliable damage, and we'll see who our boss in here is. Larry Jr., Green Larry Jr., so we might as well pop Book of Belial, even though this is probably, arguably, an easier boss fight than the one that we just finished. That was super easy. We get HP and Tears upgrade. Oh, that's just HP. And we get a deal with the Devil, which gives us Krampus. So we're really going for broke here on this first floor. Lump of Coal, five Spirit Hearts, Little Steven, um, HP upgrade. Uh, what else do we get? The damage upgrade, and that's basically it. And 13 cents, so that was a... a well, it's not over yet, I guess, but uh, certainly an eventful first two floors. First floor, if you want to get super technical. Um, but I'm happy with the way things have gone. These are some good upgrades that are hopefully going to make us even more survivable and even more deadly as we move along. So we lost half a spirit heart there. Not a huge deal in the whole scheme of things. Check out our item room. So we get Best Friend. It's an item I don't consider all that good, to be honest with you. And then a golden chest that I can't even open. Things starting to go a little bit more poorly on this floor, but you, you can always turn it around. Who knows, maybe we pick up a D6, re-roll our uh, Best Friend item. It's not a bad item, but it's an item that's uh, is not necessarily my style, is a polite way to put it. I did use it to good effect on a Blue Baby fight fairly recently, but that was only because I had, I think I had the D6? And I held that onto that until the chest, so I just took whatever, like, spacebar item the chest felt like I deserved. So we have no bombs, no keys, so shop is obviously not happening here, as is, you know, secret rooms in the same boat. Just gonna go through this quite easily, pop my head into this kiosk here. Uh, Goat Hoof! Good item, it gives us a random damage upgrade, or a chance of every few shots doing extra damage, I believe. So it'll be worth it to take that, but... That'll only happen if we end up getting a bomb or, uh, well, it's probably several bombs because I wouldn't want to just use one for that. Uh, or a ladder or uh, the ability to fly, all of which are possibilities, technically. We could get HP upgrade, deal with the devil or something. In fact, what might be ideal is actually deal with the devil, no HP upgrade, and uh, we get Horror Babylon for the exact price. Uh, of the existing health that we have left. So anyway, we got one more bomb here. We've gotta be coming fairly close to the boss room. Caves Part 1 is not an enormous floor. Let's see what this pill does. Speed up. That's good, actually. I felt like I was a little sluggish. Only because I was so fast on the last run, which I recorded, you know, like less than half an hour ago. Got that one uh, speed plus range upgrade. I think it's Roid Rage? Or Growth Hormones. Either way, made us super goddamn fast. Didn't end up making a difference in the long run. We still succeeded quite easily, but... Uh, it was a little bit off-putting at the start when I first got it. So these guys are nearly dead. We get another key, that's awesome. Should we use that for the shop this time? It probably will. And I think this is what the Belial worthy. If nothing else, allows us to kill these fistula parts faster, which means less damage for us. Even though I did take one hit there. More crowd control as well. As I think we're killing the silkworms in one hit right now, which is insane. So we get uh, another HP upgrade. No deal with the devil, that's fine though. Let's see what we get in our shop here. Potentially something awesome. Map is worth it, I would say. Uh, will allow us to find the secret room with regularity. So, you know, if it allows us to find... If it allows us to save, like, four bombs, it's probably paid for itself. So kill Sloth here. Uh, Sloth may give us tarot card? Yeah. Empress. That's a good tarot card. We'll save that for later use, of course. Another bomb here. Blow open a hole to the secret room. Excuse me? That didn't open? Why didn't that open? Did I put it in the wrong spot? I find that kind of hard to believe. Let's put one right here. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what I did on that last one, but apparently the game didn't like it. And we will also buy a spirit heart from the shop. I think that's a, a prudent decision given our place in the world right now. Keeping our spirit hearts up. Keeping ourselves stocked gives me the confidence to uh, make bold choices as we move throughout the game, and those bold choices are what gives us the potential, probably, for success. But right now, everything's going just fine. We'll go to as many rooms as possible, just to explore all that we can. So we have Fistula. Like a miniature version of the Fistula, which is not going to be nearly as bad, although we don't have Book of Belial, so we are going to be taking a little bit longer to kill each one of the individual parts. But it's no biggie. 
We're probably going to get the 15 cents on this floor as well, uh, if I had to predict. But really, the mo thing we're most concerned about at this point is keys. Like, I really want to make sure uh, that we find a key, if that's at all possible. If it isn't, then I'm going to be pissed off, but there's always the chance that maybe we can make do without it. I'd rather not, but, <laughs> you know, if you got to do what you got to do sometimes, I guess. So we're just going to shoot all of the TNT. Makes for an easy room here. Again, tons of red heart drops now that I don't need it. And if we could just get two bombs, then we could double that to four right there. Key drop here would be awesome. Of course, we get a golden key that we can't even see. Let's double our money. Carry around the Empress. Again, now one bomb would be super duper valuable. Every time I say super duper, I feel like a kindergarten teacher again. Um... Well, I guess I wasn't technically a kindergarten teacher, but, you know, in Korea, you're a jack of all trades. When you teach English. Taught a little kindergarten science, which I am absolutely capable for. I thought the music cut out for a second there. Um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let us just go around here. Uh, check out this room. Again, we want to examine every single room just in case there's a chance for a key. Key or bomb is beautiful in this situation. Because, I mean, the golden key is super valuable because we have the uh, enough money to go to the shop as well. So if we had one golden key, that allows us to go to both of those areas. So either a bomb or a key, that should not be super hard to ask. Oh my god, how did I let myself just stand there and take the damage? There's a bomb in the inaccessible area. Fantastic. I don't want I'm not greedy. I don't want to go to the secret room with my bomb. I don't want to use it to blow up a boss. I just want it so I can get a key and you know. What, what's life about, man? Opening doors, getting new opportunities. So please, Isaac, help me out here. This is fucking infuriating. Well, hopefully, there's keys behind every like section here, bombs behind every section. But I cannot access them. You know what? There is a slot machine up here. Not all is not lost. All we need to do is start a chain reaction here. Let's get out of there. Um, we can actually just like get these flies to come out and then drop out and they'll be gone. But uh, yeah, all we need is one key. Well, I prefer to get one bomb here. But I wouldn't, uh, you know, sneeze at a key either. It's better than what we've got right now. We actually made some money on the slot machine already. Okay, cool. Hearts I do not need at all. Money I wouldn't... I'm actively trying to trade for other items here. Come on, don't burn me. There's a key. Okay, so first things first, let's go to the item room. Uh, the... I would love to get a bomb as well because the golden key would be useful, but now it's not as important. In fact, I, I would feel okay just leaving this floor now. Having gotten the speed plus range upgrade again. Oh, we fast. We fast. Uh, let's check out what we got in our boss trap room now. Seriously, we're too quick. I, I don't know how to handle it. Is this item received a buff recently or something? Pop a couple of because I hate Peep. I don't know. I, I automatically go stand behind Peep now because I'm so used to fighting the bloat. Which is weird to say because I definitely fight Peep way more than I fight the bloat. But this fight is going very well so far. Just going to hang out, avoid these eyes. That was kind of a close call, actually, and that was an easy fight! I got Deal the Devil Miter. That's awesome, so Spirit Hearts again are gonna be- wow! Yeah, Spirit Hearts are gonna be in very great supply, with that Tears Upgrade Spirit Heart 2 more Spirit Heart drop there. And we'll head down to the next floor again, still struggling on the keys and bombs fronts. But hopefully we can rectify that with, you know, another floor here. That's my dream, anyway. I dream of a world where keys and bombs are not limiting factors in the Binding of Isaac run. A new world record in the United States presidential election today. YouTube personality Northern Lion has taken a shocking 0% of votes everywhere. Folks say his platform of running entirely on providing keys and bombs for every family to place the binding of Isaac may have been a little short-sighted and not appeal to the average American. Probably true. Damn it, what can I say? I stick by my beliefs. Maybe the country's just not ready for someone like me yet. So we have two bombs now, that means we can go to our secret room. And in the secret room we will get the noose, which allows us to fly! That is super awesome! <laughs> so in the last few rooms, basically, we've gotten the ability to fly and the miter, which is going to give us a ton of spirit art upgrades. It's certainly not- our victory is not set in stone yet, there's other items 
that would do a lot towards contributing to our success. And I do need to not get hit so much that I can actually amass more spirit hearts, like that one right there. Um, but we have the the tools are in place for us to make a difference here. Maybe I should run for public office. Took some terrible damage there. We picked up a bomb, and now of course that I don't necessarily need bombs. Bombs coming nonstop. This should be an easy finish. We got another bomb, of course. That's the way the game's gonna go right now. Uh, we got Larry Jr. He's an easy kill. Now he's dead. Take our bomb. We cannot go to the shop. I would love to, believe me. But we might just fight our boss right away because we're already here. So why not? These guys are gonna be easy as hell. I still don't know what Birdfoot does entirely. Bad gas. Uh, so we're Devs Part 1. I'm just making sure we weren't fighting Mom here. We're fighting Gish! I love this! Gonna give us a nice little familiar. It's not, again one of those things that's not necessarily gonna be a deal breaker or a deal maker, uh, but it is a, a very nice item to get. Gish does not so much damage, but the ability to slow a boss is very valuable against bosses like Blue Baby uh, and Isaac because it slows their shots as well, which makes them substantially easier to dodge. Uh, and we get a deal with the devil, which is weird, having just gotten a deal with the angel. But let's see what he's got in here for us. Guppy's paw. Yeah, let's go crazy. So we'll, we'll go super low on hearts with Guppy's Paw like that. Uh, now that we have the Miter, we can probably sustain this. And we're just going to look for keys now. This is an interesting proposition for us. Now we do, we're basically just like a powerful blue baby. But we also have um, Miter to give us more spirit hearts, which is incredibly valuable. And beyond that, more keys would open us up here. And we're going to get the Polaroid, which is going to uh, give us that invincibility that is so important. So Poison Touch would actually be an awesome upgrade. We did pick up a key. Feels good, man. We know that we're going to be able to go to the item room at the very least. Don't want to go to the shop because I think with the amount of money that we have, the, the risk of greed is pretty high. Make sure we kill this dude. Uh, there's a second key. Now we will go to the shop because we have two keys. So we can afford to actually lose one if that's how it, uh, it's going to go down. Uh, I could open that golden chest. Seems a little risky to me. I'm digging this run so far. That's two, two fun runs in a row. You know what? This is Book of the Lyle already. We can just fly over top of this stuff. We might get more spirit arts here as a result of that sweet, sweet tinted rock. Alright, so let's pop that open. It's gonna give us a key. That's actually possibly even more valuable, to be honest with you. And we're just continuing to examine all of our rooms here in case we get again more bombs or keys. Who knows? More spirit arts also as a result of the miter. Uh, we might as well pay out judgment or buy out judgment because he's gonna be. Pretty cheap for us, considering the amount of money we have. We only need to have 15 cents moving forwards. I can save a key, actually, just by using this Hermit card. And we get the Nun Sabbath! This is <laughs> real good! Um, now, I do want to save the Empress card for a boss fight a little bit later. I mean, that ended up allowing us to kill Blue Baby so quickly on the last run. We get a pill that I'm not going to take, because I'm a little bit worried about my health right now. We'll use Hermit to go to the shop. Nothing there. Uh, we'll backtrack ourselves to the item room quickly, now that we have a ton of keys. I think that is a smart decision. We might open the golden chest, actually, down in the bottom. That's going to take us down to one key. Well, it's better than we have been doing. So, in our item room, we find pinking shears. I'm going to stick with Book of Belial. I might have gone with the shears if we, had the, uh, if we hadn't gotten Transcendence and the ability to fly. But, as it is right now, I think uh, this is the right call. But shears are very useful as well, especially like with Nun's Habit. We'd be able to use those constantly, but hey. We'll just stick with what we got for now. Let's open this golden chest, fight some bitches in here. More keys? We got the Polaroid, actually. We're getting the Polaroid early. It, it, it's not gonna do too much for us, but at least it does give us this invincibility earlier. So we should take less damage as we move forward. Maybe? I don't know. It's a weird situation. I didn't expect it, for sure. Was it worth the key in hindsight? No. Neither was the, um... Neither was the shop. Well, we didn't use the key to go to the shop. Um, that was bad damage. Uh, but neither was the item room. But, you know, you gotta you gotta take these chances sometimes. Again, I do not have poison touch, so I can't just run into enemies when I get hit. I wish I could. And right now, the Book of Belial has been very good to us. I would get rid of it for Candle. I would get rid of it for uh, the Nail. But there's not much else I would get rid of it for. So it's been a good floor for us. We should be able, provided we get one more key on the next floor... Uh, should be able to go to the item room and the shop, potentially buy, again, a battery or something in the shop would be cool. And not necessarily unlikely, but as, is, as it is right now, it's a good situation for us. 
Not even Sweden not having Brimstone and Mom's Knife. It's a new era. That was almost some really dumb damage for me to take. And we could just go to the shop right away. You want to try it? I think we should try it. Let's try it. I had a feeling this was going to happen. But that's fine. Again, we just need one more key to be able to go to the item room. But even if we can't go to the item room, I don't think it's going to be a huge deal. Because we already are dealing insane damage. We should be getting a lot of Spirit Heart drops. Uh... Things are, things are in our favor for sure. We can make them a little bit more in our favor. That wouldn't hurt, but... Uh, things are going... Oh, shit. Here we go. Party's just getting started. Flying Epic Fetus. And everyone wonders, why don't you use your mouse for Epic Fetus? At least it keeps it a little bit more exciting when I use my keyboard for it. I still have to actively aim. I can hurt myself. Otherwise, Epic Fetus is just like a guaranteed victory. Now, we could... I'm not going to beat the chest in 22 minutes like I did in my last... Epic Fetus run, uh, but in spite of that, I'm not even going to worry about speedrunning. If I was worried about speedrunning, I would just blow my way through every room that we came across. Let's have some fun. Let's actually try to kill these enemies. We're, we are we can't lose now. I mean, that's a cocky way of saying it, but seriously, the odds of us losing now are so low that it's almost not even worth bringing up. Uh, instead, let's just treat this as if it's already a victory lap and, and have some fun with it, shall we? That's telepathy for dummies. That's an absolutely garbage item, but it doesn't really matter because fetus in a jar. By the way, that fetus in a jar, entirely because of that map purchase earlier in the game. Just a little example uh, of how a map can, can really change your run. But, um, also, greatest secret rooms we've ever had in a run. We got Transcendence and fetus in a jar. Somebody up there likes us. So flying fetus in a jar basically makes us invincible. We're taking keys anyway because we'll want those to open uh, the chests on the chest, which we'll probably be at in a matter of minutes. If only we had the compass, that would make things faster, but can't always get what you want, I suppose. I don't even know if Book of Belial works in conjunction with the, the fetus in a jar, but certainly we're able to do a lot of damage here. Just keep it up. This is actually a, not a more difficult fight with um, Fetus in a Jar, but it's... I'm sorry, Epic Fetus? I've been saying Fetus in a Jar a lot, but um, it, it requires its own unique set of, of parameters, like the conditions. Because you're dodging a little bit wonky. You can't shoot as often as you normally would. You certainly can't shoot close to yourself. Anyway, it's over. That was fast. Take Cat of Nine Tails again. I don't know if this is going to work in conjunction with Epic Fetus. We'll see. We already have the Polaroid. I know some people were probably freaking out that I'd just abandoned it there. We've already got it. No need to sweat it. Easy room and some free spirit hearts. That's Bob's Rotten Head. Well, Bob's Rotten Head might be a good item considering we don't even know if Book of Belial works. However, I love these runs, man. Epic Fetus, Fetus in a Jar. They show up so rarely that they feel very substantial or very... You feel lucky when you get one. That's the easiest way to put it. Still, we're probably not clearing these rooms out as fast as we would if we had Brimstone, to be honest with you. Not to get the Brimstone Circle Jerk back on track, but in all seriousness, uh, it's taking us longer than it would, probably, if we just had, like, one laser beam that cut through everything on the floor. So we might as well uh, just come down here, see if we're going in the right path. I'm guessing that we're going to find the boss room over here. I'm taking some damage. I shouldn't be. There's really no reason for me to be uh, taking damage, apart from laziness. Some money here that is completely worthless. Get the compass. All right, that's gonna make things easy for us. Not even a boss trap room. It's a mob, mob trap room with bosses. And I actually got hit by Chubb super quickly there. It's okay. He's gonna be dead soon. We're not doing a whole lot of damage here. Not as, not nearly as much as Polyphemus Mom's knife from the last run. But you know, six of one, half a dozen of, an, of the other. This is gonna be easy as hell. Stop jumping, please. One more. There we go. We get a bomb. Still can't see our spirit hearts. I was a little bit worried. We've been taking way more damage than I would like. But this compass is going to make things certainly faster for us. I wonder if, like, getting added damage actually affects Epictetus. Because if it does, sign me up. Who knows? Uh, I guess Horror of Babylon would be, would be the best way to test that. I could possibly get it in a deal with the devil here. It's pretty unlikely, but it could happen. In. Just going fine here. Aiming with the keyboard. I, I get that aiming with the mouse is probably easier, but aiming with the keyboard is not difficult at all. You're just using the arrow keys to direct your shot. 
pretty easy in the whole scheme of things. Especially considering, for the most part, you can just stand in one area. So your left hand doesn't really have to be doing anything at all. There we go. So we get Pinky's Eye. I thought that was Polyphemus for a second, and I was super hyped. We are going to get our first level cube of meat. Awesome. That's worthless at this point of the game. But I'm finding it hard to muster up complaints given our situation here. I wish this scythe would just die, man. Stop being such a dick. There we go. Well, I hit myself there. And now I can see my spirit arts. We might actually lose this run. And that would be comical and horrible. If we get a nail or something, that would be good. Anyway, down to the next floor. I should really not be taking this much damage. Time to hunker down. Be smart. Do things the right way. I can fly. I should mostly just be standing behind rocks, probably. Or standing over gaps or something like that. No, no such luck here. It's gonna take a little bit more damage here. I hate this room. I hate those lasers, man. One of the most frustrating enemies to deal with. Okay, going strong. We do have our boss, or sorry, our secret room here. So we'll see what we've got in there. I almost used a bomb to open it up. That would have been novel. Don't even need the money. You give it to someone who needs it. And we should blow open all the rocks, basically. Because you never know. Don't want the fool. Uh, if there could be some tinted rocks hidden amongst them. Why not, you know? Nothing there. There's still a few rocks left, but... I did more or less my due diligence. Less my due diligence. I think due diligence is like a binary state, but anyway. Uh, let us move upwards now. We got three Gertie J's. I'm just gonna try not to blow up my secret rock hideout here. And provided I do that, we should be easy to kill. We get two spirit hearts here. That is incredibly valuable, but you don't need me to tell you that. Two more blue Gertie Juniors means probably um, another spirit heart drop for me. Which is awesome. That is a sick haul to end that area. So like this, like this, and then immediately book a Belisle and start tearing ass. This should be super easy. Bosses are going to be a sore spot because they, they can absorb a little bit more damage than your average enemy. Uh, but everything else is not going to be a problem for us. Of course, Larry Jr. the exception to that rule, apparently. We might not even see Chubb, actually, because I think he's going to be continuously firing bombs now. So, this is going quite well. One more. That was really easy, actually. Up to the cathedral, where we will find Isaac, actually, only like five rooms away. Just going to make things quick for us. And the spider's next. One more. One more. Easy enough. We get key and bomb. Of course, it's going to be useful for the chest. I don't know what we could possibly get on the chest that would make me a happy camper. Or Babylon, I guess. Let's see if I really do do more damage. <laughs> do do. If I really do more damage with um, uh, damage upgrades with the epic fetus. But I don't know. There's two more spirit hearts on that room. That's fine by me. I'm going to try to save Empress for the blue baby fight. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work out like that, but I think we should be able to survive Isaac easily enough. I'm not, it's not worth taking the pill just in case it causes me damage. Uh, okay, so let's go. Empress. Or sorry, not Empress. Book of Belial. Similar function. Now, we shouldn't have to do too much dodging here because our damage is coming in very large and very discreet bursts. As opposed to, like, continuous firing. That was bad damage on my part. Never should have happened, but... You know, one hit is not the end of the world. So this will be our third phase of Isaac starting now. Yes. So we're going to focus on taking out the angel fetuses in addition to <laughs> another Book of Belial. I don't know if these stack, but uh, I'm going to try to hit angel fetuses and Isaac at the same time. We have a pause. So we get another spirit heart drop from Isaac. That's good luck, actually. As we head up to the chest, because this floor is done like dinner. So let's see what we get here. Will our incredible luck continue? Yum heart, useless. Lemon tears. Unicorn horn. Chocolate milk. How's this gonna work? You can charge up 
Oh man, okay, so you actually charge up your bombs before you shoot them? That's... And let's see how this works with number one as well. This is super weird. I don't know if it's gonna do more damage, but it's... If it does do more damage, that's hilarious. Alright, well now it's not even working. Now I can't even charge my shots. I don't know, that was... That was funky. I was kind of into it, though. Would have made it at least a little bit trickier going forward, because this should be a fairly easy route or floor for us. Even though it is, you know, the hardest floor objectively in the entire game. Everything else we're just going to leave down there. I don't even remember what the other item was. Unicorn horn. Eh, you know, that's okay, but... Probably we're going to be fine with the Book of B here. So we're alive. We've got just like two Super Sloth rooms in a row. But, Super Sloth, not much of a match for us here. I don't even pick up the tarot cards because I'm not worried about what uh, what they contain. Like, it doesn't matter at all. The Empress is... There's nothing better for us than the Empress right now. I mean, the Hero Font would give us two extra Spirit Hearts, but it's, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Our success is virtually guaranteed. I'm not trying to be cocky here because it's not me that's guaranteed the success. It's the luck that we've gotten with these items, particularly Epic Fetus, of course. Um... Yeah, like my my skill, or lack thereof, depending on your opinion, is completely irrelevant to the success of this run so far. But I'm happy that it's turned out the way it has, regardless. Okay, so we got a couple of uh, wretcheds here, who can be kind of pains in the ass. They close the distance on you real quick, but doesn't really matter. You take one damage, no skin off my nuts. They're not dead yet, seriously. You can do it. I've got faith in you. Just die, man. It's the easiest thing in the world. Now, one more. I can see my spirit hearts. Worries me ever so slightly for this blue baby fight coming up. Let's take out war first. Should probably take out famine first, actually. Because war is more difficult to dodge when he enters this phase. So I would love to have the whole map to do it. But, problem solved. Two of these should be enough to... Oh, three to take him down to that. And one more. Yep. Okay, so our last room is just for the brain dudes. I anticipate this not being a problem at all. So I'm banking on two consecutive chest runs here. It's nice after like six failed runs in a row. So here we are, Blue Baby, Empress, Book of Belial. Start dropping some fat beats on him here. We could lose this. I'm not gonna blow smoke up your ass. It's, it's totally possible that we'll lose this. Uh, but, my dodging should be adequate to avoid that catastrophic scenario. If I die here, it'll be like entirely because of like, some incredibly tragic levels of hubris. But I've tried to stay humble, you know. Got my pet whispering in my ear, you are mortal. I'm getting a little framey here, I'm not sure what's up with that, but uh, we've, we've won. There's basically nothing that can stop us now. You could probably fight a second blue baby after this and turn out just fine. Easy fight, easy round, and a whole lot of fun. So as always, thank you guys for watching. That was another good Isaac run. I'm very pleased with my recording sessions today, but as always... <sighs> thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.